Namaskaram, welcome to P Gurus. I'm your host JK. Today we're gonna have a role change. Usually you have uh, Sri here presenting the show. Today I'm gonna present and we have Sri as a guest. Namaskaram. Namaskaram JK and I'm looking forward to talk about my favorite topic that is NDTV and Mr. Pranoy Roy. It seems as if we've been uh, you know friends for a long time but I've never met the man in person but I'll be happy to talk to you about <laughs> what I see is happening there. No, seriously, there is a lot of irony happening. I guess we get a news that China is ready to cooperate when NDTV owner exit or give away their shares to Adani. I guess they are out of NDTV now. And a lot of this uh, you know, development seems to go hand in hand. I, I, I just can't stop wondering what will happen if even the Hindu <laughs> give away their uh, part of share to either uh, Adani or Ambani. What's your take? Well, um, it has to be seen because right now I'm not sure who has how much stakes in the Hindu because it's anything but Hindu. They, th th that's how I see it and uh, who knows what, what they are up there and as an industry, media is not making money. We all know that. Right. And P Gurus is a standing example of that. We don't take any advertising fees. So we don't take any advertising money. So we are not beholden to anyone. We don't blow the conch for anybody. And we speak the truth. So that truth has a very high price to pay. Uh, absolutely. But even the false get some prize and that's how you know NDTV, Pranoy Roy, Radhika Roy, they've been running the show for almost what 30 odd years right since I remember watching the world this week in yes. the late 80s and that used to be one show that people were looking uh, up for right and now we have come to this so what do you think that is NDTV gonna mend their ways or do they gonna go the Roy's uh, no, NDTV certainly has to mend their ways. Uh, Adani is not going to allow them to do business as usual. I mean, NDTV had a very virulent uh, anti-Modi uh, bias. I mean, 2002, they cooked up a lot of stuff. In fact, you remember that they had been determined to be anti-national and they were supposed to go off air for 24 hours under the Modi government. And, and they didn't. Nobody could dare to turn them off. Absolutely. That is the kind of heft these guys had. And now what we are hearing is that Pranay Roy and Radhika Rai may be getting a get out of jail card from Gautam Adani. And that too, the, they are selling 27.26%, somewhere thereabouts, right, of their stake for 50% above the price that Sebi set for of 294 rupees a share. So they are cleaning up close to 800 crores. And here's what I'm also hearing that is horrifying. What is horrifying is that the IT uh, cases against them, the enforcement directorate cases against them, CBI cases against them, everything is going to be wiped clean. Does that mean they gonna get an opportunity to just fly away like the other Nira Modi and uh, Lalit? No, and no, these guys are doing with their <laughs> head, uh, head held high. He yeah, said, right. look, I showed him. You know, see, the thing is, in 2018, there was a press club conference where this guy swore up and down that I have not touched black money in all my life. Whereas all the proof points to him having done tax evasion, money laundering and stock manipulation. All the above. All that you should not be doing as you a company. You should not be doing. I mean, <laughs> why are you preaching morals to the society when you yourself are so corrupt? Right? So now what is happening is because of this deal, this is what I'm hearing and I'm very, very happy if I'm proved wrong. Somebody from Modi government can put out a disclaimer saying, no, CIR is wrong. I'm happy to be wrong in this case. That somebody says, look, he has to pay his dues. The 800 odd crores that he's getting from Gautam Adani will be adjusted against what he owes to income tax department and the enforcement directorate and whatever else that they may have to do. Even back wages. I've been hearing that they didn't make salaries sometimes. Okay. Right, right. So, so there, there's a whole bunch of mess here. How he's going to do all that stuff. And I'm hearing that he is going to just take some money and leave. This is not right. Government is losing. You and I, we taxpayers, we are losing. I'll give you a personal example, guys. And Modi government can check this thing out. I closed my company about six months ago. It took me one month to start a company. It took me one year to close that company. Believe it or not, one year. And Finally, all the taxes have been audited by income tax. I've paid the taxes every year. I got a letter again saying that I owe the income tax department, guess this, 617 rupees. <laughs> I have 
to pay that. Right, okay. Right? Okay. And no, that, that's a big bunny. <laughs> for here you have crores being. Yeah. And, and you see, this is like I'm also being punished for having put out the truth about NDTV. <laughs> okay. Might because, be. <laughs> because there are two other people that have been extremely, you know, harshly dealt with by this government. One is uh, the IRS officer, Sanjeev, uh, Sanjay Srivastava. Srivastava, yeah. Uh, Srivastava, who has been fired. He has been uh, terminated under 56J, which means he doesn't get even pension. And Pretty sad. on top of that, CBI, he claims, has foisted, you know, fake cases on him. And he's fighting those things in the court. That, that, that's really unwarranted. Maybe, uh, I guess it's pathetic uh, to, to say the least. But how do they interact when somebody getting exposed? Uh, how, maybe, as we know it, right? The system still remains with them. They keep uh, claiming that. Do you see that's happening? As we just see, right? China is ready to make men's with uh, India. I guess they're ready to work with India. And we have NDTV closing. I guess the big scoop you just did. And maybe we are hearing, the rumor mills has it, that even the video con, Owner is getting He's arrested. in trouble. He's arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, yeah. but Mogambo sure is happy about it. <laughs> so uh, maybe your luck has it. So you think even uh, Pranoy, uh, some kind of uh, lucky charm, um, is he going to well, go in? See, here's what happened. Yeah. One was Sanjay Srivastava, who I felt was hard done by. Mm -hmm. The other person was the person who put together the complete cast iron case that these guys tried hard by the way they went to every tribunal known to mankind every court known to mankind appealed it you know at high court level bench and then supreme court they have tried every Everything. trick in the book to not pay what was owed to them yet and now what they are getting is a get out of jail card and 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 again this is all rumors the second person like the person the income tax officer he got so disgusted that he has actually resigned from his job. Maybe he got a voluntary retirement. Because what happens is, you take, you get a lot of pressure. NDTV was the ultimate system insider. Right. You know, bureaucrats whose children were not going abroad for studies, were not able to get employment on their own steam. Guess where they ended up? NDTV. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> so, this, this, is, this is their watering hole. Yeah. Okay. So these guys knew how the system worked and how to work the system. But if you are going to take the NDTV uh, reins away from them, then they should follow the due course of law. Right. You and I don't have a chance like this. Absolutely. Anytime ED sends you a notice or me a notice. I have to appear. What? I have to appear before them. Yeah, I have to yeah, have prove to, I am no, innocent. It's worse. It's worse. <laughs> you not only have to appear in front of them, chances are at the end of that you will be arrested. Absolutely. Right? Possible. Here we have Rahul Gandhi coming and going. Okay. Then he asked for a piece of paper to write down. I don't know what he wrote, twinkle, twinkle, little star comes to mind. And then Sonia Gandhi goes for interrogation. One hour into it, he says, Oh, I forgot to bring my pills. I left them at home. Right, and then we have the classic case of PC. Yes, <laughs> PC is like, he, he's advising his son, be stern. <laughs> that is going to solve all his problems. <laughs> so, we have this, you know, I, I really, really don't understand how justice works here. I mean, right. they, they, it, it's really, really, what I should say is, uh, disappointing doesn't even start beginning to explain <laughs> what I'm feeling right now. At the same time, you know, well, I did you know, get the word across to all of you, you know, my biggest grouse and all that is NDTV forms like the template that many other media companies have adopted. So if these guys were successfully sent to jail, the trains would be coming into the platform every five minutes, everyone would be going to jail. It's the same cookie cutting principle that was used by everybody else. I, I guess uh, the same thing happened with the News 9 media, right? Every one of them. See, I, I can tell you three, okay? What I call as three bunties and bubblies, okay? <laughs> the, the first set is Pranay Roy and Radhika Roy. Right. Second one is INX Media. Right, INX uh, Media, exactly. Peter Mukherjee with a J-E-A <laughs> and Indrani Mukherjee. And the third one is the Quint Group. Uh, what's a, what's his name? Bal, Rakesh Bal and Ritu Kapoor. Right, Kapoor okay. With a okay, U -R. okay, okay. I guess they, right, right now they run a, a kind of a web paper, e paper, isn't it? Uh, a the Quint. Quint was the there. Quint, yeah. Quint, yeah. has bought that too. <laughs> okay. So is he left with a choice? Is he running away or is he going to the jail or did he get, a, get out of the jail car? My very limited point here is 
that the template I told you, right, yeah. has been copied and pasted into many a company, uh, you know, uh, operation plan. This is what they did. And, and we have reported on all those three cases. Chidambaram hasn't gone to jail. Yeah, once he did, but <laughs> luckily, <laughs> once, once. That was only because. Well, 100 days is a big thing for you know, PC to be in jail. <laughs> if you know, I guess we, 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 I guess that we, we, we have done a lot of episodes on the Himalayan Guru, this and, and all, right? But then still, he was there for 100 days, 100 odd days. And that's a big thing. I guess you should applaud. <laughs> <laughs> I would applaud if there is a, some sort of a sensible, you know, sense that the law is being applied equally mm, across, across the board. Right. That's all my thing is. If, if, they are right and they shouldn't be punished, then why are you punishing the common man? You see, this, this, this dichotomy is what I'm trying to understand. Anyway, let's hope that in return for letting this man go, that uh, this, um, the Modi government is getting some sort of a bonanza. CDs come to my mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some other documents, who knows. But right. we, whatever it is, uh, was that a fair bargain? I won't know. <laughs> I guess we, we, we'll just wait and see. But at the end of the day, as you said, uh, people gonna, who, who kind of planning to start any kind of a news media would be skeptical now after this, isn't it? Don't you think? I guess they, yes, they won't yes. just uh, gonna stick their neck out and start a media right away, just like the, the way, as you said, the template. The template is not going to work anymore. Do you think so? Well, um, that's a good question, as a matter of fact. Um, the game has changed a little bit now. Right. It is not as blatant as it was before. Now what has been happening is money is finding its way into companies in slightly different ways. Uh, even FCRA ban, although that has taken place, the money is still coming into a conversion organizations. Like for example, there is a front, that conversion company XYZ. We don't want to take any religion. It could be any religion. Right. right? Although, <laughs> yeah, amazingly, it's quite obvious. Happens to only one <laughs> religion. Religion. <laughs> but, you know, these people are doing their job, but they also have a small software company. And that software company, you know, charges so many dollars for their software services. I mean, who's going to check, right, whether the software works or not, not yeah. whether it is going to be useful or not. Somebody from US sends them an, uh, you know, invoice, quotation. yeah, and you invoice them with like, you know, hundred thousand dollars thing, bingo. Uh, and that's it. it. And you just pay the taxes on them, and you have got the money, black and white. Right. I, I guess they're going, they're going to get tax holidays as well, if you know it, right? The corporate taxes has come down from twenty-five to twenty-two now. It's a yes. lot more easier to get the money in. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I, I, I mean, so that's what I'm trying to say. It is getting getting more sophisticated. As a matter of fact, P Gurus ran a series of articles about how shell companies can be formed to make it all look legit. Right. And this is a little harder for common man to understand. There are things like general partner and limited partner and this and that and how you create blind trusts and you know so on and so forth. But the, at the end of the day, this is all money that is being done for something other than services. Right. Hopefully, I guess this this would be the end of it. We kind of hope, really hope that. We're not going to see any more of NDTV kind of stuff again. Uh, thank you very much, Sri. For that. that was kind of pretty elaborate for anybody to understand. Thank you very much once again. Thank you again and uh, wonderful to be on the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take care. If you like this program, like it, share it, subscribe to our channel and you will get more. Thank you.